Okay, so the third main use is setting off any kind of introductory material that comes at the beginning of a sentence uh, or before the independent clause. So it can be a word, it can be a phrase, it can be an entire dependent clause, but just any kind of intro material that you put at the beginning of the sentence needs a comma after it. So here's some examples. Uh, actually, my favorite cartoon of all time is Metalocalypse. That is true, but probably none of you have ever watched that. Uh, comma after the actually. So sometimes you can just put a word at the beginning like nevertheless comma or still comma uh, those are called conjunctive adverbs but you don't need to know that and the comma needs to go after it uh, this one has a whole dependent clause in front of it even though pedro pascal was the star of the mandalorian people paid more attention to baby yoda uh, this is actually the independent clause people paid and even though is a subordinating conjunction and makes all this dependent. So even though Pedro Pascal was the star of the Mandalorian, needs a comma after it. Uh, and then this is kind of a double. This is a, another, I think, compound complex sentence. Uh, up until recently, I wasn't terribly impressed with Cara Delvine's acting. How it, well, I'm going to hit the comma there. Oh well. However, she was excellent in Carnival Row on Amazon Prime. So you can use a conjunctive adverb like however, one of the longer words or longer phrases after a semicolon. So that needs a comma. And then this also needs a comma up until recently. You can kind of think of it as like any place that you would take a slight breath or a slight pause if you spoke. Um, so that is number three. And then number four is I'm going to get to is a positives.